What's going on guys, JT with another Throwback Thursday. So today we're gonna look at the two-wheel drive Traxxas Bullet, also known as the TRX-10. So this was released in 1988. So it was a couple years after the RC-10 and that's kind of what I believe Traxxas kind of released this for was competition against that particular um, race buggy. But um, this one was a little bit on the heavy side. It didn't perform as well on the track and pick up in the racing as it did in the bashing scene and stuff. So anyway, guys, we're gonna dive right in and take a look. And these images that I pulled up are actually from a kit that's available on ebay so i will leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check that out it was one of the better ones that i've seen out that i'm trying to not bite i'm kind of crack fiending for it but we'll see what happens but you guys can see the layout there of this particular buggy um you guys see it has a little figurine in it as well this one has a kind of an unpainted body so you guys can still paint that which is good um it fits a little battery pack in there and this did come with sway bars front and rear and it did come with a 540 brush motor. It came ready to run with the radio and then also mechanical speed controller as well. Um, I'll show you guys that in just a second. They did upgrade to a, um, um, a XL1 at that time um, with that. But you guys see the way the shocks and stuff are. They didn't have threaded body shocks um, back then, but they did try to do the best we could back in the 80s with that. Um, there's a quick look at that mechanical speed control I'm always talking about. You guys can see there was another servo that actually fit and you guys will see a close-up to that slot to the left of your screen that actually moved the uh, mechanical speed controller forward three speeds and i believe it had one speed going in reverse there with it as well so and this like i said it's got something on there that you guys don't see a lot of on traxxas cars it's got an aluminum chassis on there so i thought that that was um good i'm not sure why they went away from that it might have been a whole cost thing and stuff but it did have adjustable turnbuckles and stuff on it so it was a good try for them to try to get into the racing scene but it just didn't pick up because it didn't handle as well as some of the other cars that were out there the ultimate and stuff as well but this did have 32 pitch gears and not 48 pitch gears so uh, you guys looking at this this is in pretty good condition it's got a few minor scrapes on the bottom of the chassis but it does still look like it's in really good condition like he didn't run it that much on there um, as well so that is a quick look at this i did want to kind of introduce you to this um, particular buggy back in the day because probably next week on a couple weeks we'll do the traxxas radicator which came after this one so anyway guys put your comments down below um, what you think about this and i'll put a link like i said to his ebay account and don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos